Hi, today we're going to be thinking about two beat and one beat rests. So if you've got four beats in the bar, one, two, three, four, stride, sh, sh, stride, sh, sh, or say two beats in the bar, one, two, one, two, walk, sh, walk, sh, walk, sh. So the stride is when we're going to use the bow and the walk is when we're going to use the bow, but the sh, sh, or just sh is the rest. Now, you can help that by using your windmills. So by doing that action, that takes up the time of the one beat or two beat rest. So thinking about in four, four time, one, two, three, four. Stride, retake. Stride, windmill. Stride, windmill. Stride, retake. In the case of a two four time, just two beats to the bar, and we're going walk, sh, walk, sh, walk, lift, walk, lift, walk, lift, walk, lift. Okay, depending on what speed you're doing, you might end up getting a full bow with that. Okay, or you might have to use short control bows down near the heel. Walk, lift, walk, lift, walk, lift. And this in turn is great for thinking about your bow hold. Remember that your bow hold. You should be having a nice bent thumb with the nail facing out towards your music. Your two fingers down, here's a llama. That finger's just relaxed over the stick. But the really important one is the pinky resting on your stick. You can think about maybe doing some windscreen wipers. You can maybe think about doing the spider up your bow to make sure you've got nice relaxed fingers right up to the end. Okay, so. I need to think about that. So the first little tune we're going to learn today is When the Saints Go Marching In, which is in 4-4 four, four time. We're going to be doing stride, retake, stride, retake. So it's just a mixture of open G, your green string, and open D, your red string. So let's hear what that sounds like with the accompaniment, because it's a lot more interesting when we've got the accompaniment in. And that's it. So nice and relaxed there with the strides, the two beat notes and the two beat windmill. Now, the next one we're going to do from the beloved Mary Poppins supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. So this one, instead of having four beats the bar, it's only two beats in a bar. So you'll find that it's a little bit faster pace. And remember I talked about having that bow control down near the heel of the bow. So let's have a little go with that. This is again just a mixture of your open strings, your open D, open A and open G. With a two bar intro. Let's just have a little, little go at that one because the pace is quite fast. So you're in two, four, ten, remember. So bow, lift, bow, lift, walk, 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 lift, walk, lift. Let's go for that one again. That one is also excellent to think about your elbow height. So remember when you're doing your D string, your elbow is almost in line with your shoulder, but not quite. So 
But with A string, we're going to drop the elbow back to D, bring the elbow up, and G. You're going to have your highest point there for your elbow. So just a couple little tips there um, about the bowing. So I hope you enjoy those ones. They're quite nice and upbeat. Um, I'm just going to run the two just now when the Saints go marching in and super califragilistic XPL juice just so you've got another chance to practice those. Super califragilistic. Have fun with those ones. <laughs> 